Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. Now, do you guys ever find yourself needing to send a birthday message or reminder and it's just that tad bit too early? Well, I've definitely been there. And it would be great if WhatsApp added in a built-in feature actually allowing us to schedule messages. But hey, until then, I found you guys a neat little workaround I just had to share. So check this out. I can unlock my phone, open WhatsApp, find a contact, send a message or even an image all automatically without me interacting with the phone at all. It's definitely pretty cool to see in action. But as a quick note, before we look at how to schedule your WhatsApp messages just like I did here, if any of you guys want to grab my live wallpapers, you can do so from my very own epic live wallpaper app. And of course, make sure to visit the request section where you can also submit your own wallpaper requests. Alright, let's get started in scheduling some WhatsApp messages. For this, we're going to be using the app Skidit, a popular app with over 1 million downloads. Now it's available for free and also as a paid subscription with some additional features. So once installed, you can either sign up or skip the sign in process altogether. It's totally up to you. After which, you'll be welcome to this screen where you can see upcoming scheduled messages, what's already been sent under done, check any deleted or failed messages. Now to schedule a new message, just hit that plus icon at the bottom of the screens and select the type of message that you want to send. In this case, it's WhatsApp. After which, you should see this pop-up message asking you to allow a couple permissions in order for the app to work properly. Now it's important to note this app will have access to the information shown on your screens. So just keep that in mind if you have any privacy concerns. Now putting that to one side, let's continue on. Now there's accessibility permissions, drawing over the screen, as well as this extra one, allowing the app to actually unlock your phone and send the message. Now as a quick side note here, this is only going to work for password or pin numbers. So if you have any pattern or fingerprint unlock only option, the app is not going to work if your phone is locked. So just keep that in mind. Now, once you've entered your phone's password, the app will be able to automatically unlock your phone whenever it needs to send a message. So as an extra step here, I highly recommend that you guys set your phone's timeout option to at least 30 seconds. So once unlocked after 30 seconds, the phone will relock itself. So now that we got the setup out of the way, let's send our first message. Now here, it's as simple as selecting a recipient, typing your message, adding any attachments. So that could be an image or a doc file. And finally, select the date you want to send the message as well as the exact time you want it to go out. Now, there is a couple other options here, but you can skip over them. Just hit the tick button in the top right of your screens and that's it. Your first message is scheduled. Now, with the free version of Skidit, you can only send messages to contacts. However, with a subscription, you can get additional options such as status updates, sending location data, setting up repeating messages and more. So there you go. Why not try this out for yourselves and schedule your WhatsApp messages. And of course, if you guys want to see more underrated apps, make sure to like and subscribe. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.